Hello there, this is Jonathan again with the SS Motion Review and another Assassin's Creed set. Now today I'm bringing you the French Revolution Battalion set, which is set number CNC64, is 116 parts and should retail between 10 to 15 pounds. So like the previously released Borgia Guard and Pirate Crew pack, this pack uh, features five figures but is based on the French Revolution which is in Assassin's Creed Unity. Now here we get four French soldiers, one being an officer right at the back here, and a brightly coloured green coated assassin. So here is the uh, set all together. Now here you, um, I will go through the articulation because they are all the same base body. They're just modified to either be an assassin, a French officer or a French soldier. So they come with uh, swivel wrists, ball jointed shoulders and elbows, a swivel waist, a ball jointed neck. So you get a lot of articulation from this. What you'd normally expect from a mega box figure. And if you've got any of the current Assassin's Creed figures or any of the Halo figures, you'll know what to expect. They are absolutely fantastically articulated for the size. No complaints there whatsoever. Okay, so starting off the review of the figures, uh, we have one of the standard French infantry. Now, this has a nicely bright blue coloured uh, coat. Definitely tells you that this is someone who's part of the French military. Uh, you also have this nice white strap going over him, which can fit swords or pistols down the side. It's got a little holster clips. Uh, now, past that, these figures' only unique uh, feature is the uh, what basically is painted onto their faces. So this guy, as you can see, has a beard and moustache painted on. Uh, you then get another soldier with just the moustache, then you get a clean shaven bald one, um, just for a little bit of variation. I like that variation, I'm glad they did it, but past that there's nothing um, that makes these figures unique. That, but then again, they are just meant to be generic infantry, so there's nothing wrong with that. The main standout weapon for me, um, well, not <laughs> I've already given it away. The main standout feature for me is the uh, weapon here, which is a nice long uh, rifle with the nice bayonet painted silver right at the end, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, you, have, you can clip it onto his hand here and here. There is a little bit of a grip here, but I've tried to use it and get the figure to aim and look decent with it. It doesn't really work. Um, so if you can get it to work, please send those pictures. I would love to see how you've done it. Um, because past that, I can't really seem to get him to hold the gun well past this pose that I've got right now. Which might be a little bit of a setback for some people who wanted them aiming in a firing line. But I don't know. I I'm happy with it. Okay, so as I mentioned, these three here are the French soldiers. They have the um, standard uniform weapon. The only difference is they're painted on beards or not beards, as or some of them have. Um, so the main standout figure here out of this little group is the French officer, which is this guy. So this is the French officer, as I've mentioned. He has the same blue coat on, however, it's got an additional white paint here and here, indicating that he's an officer. That's like some undercoat on show. He also has the red sash that we normally see reserved to assassins figures in particular. And most notably, to make him stand out, he has the biggest hat. Now this hat is about double the size of all the others um, and it's shaped differently as well just to get the point across that he's in charge. He also, unlike his uh, soldiers that he commands, he comes with a sword rather than the uh, rifle. So that's a unique piece that makes him stand out. It's the same type of sword that we've seen in other Assassin's figures but it helps make him stand out to the other troopers. So going up against the French, we have this nice assassin. Now this guy really stands out with the green coat, the blue uh, neckerchief, and the red sash. It's a very unique look. Um, now the brown hood, that is removable, so he's bald, but he's got another beard and moustache going on around there. Um, as usual, you get the assassin's hidden blade clipped on there. That just goes around the wrist. And he also comes with a little extra pistol. Now that can be holstered around his sash if you want, but I quite like it having out as if he's taking aim at the French troopers. I really, really do like this figure. It really, really stands out. You know, we've had all the white assassins, and now we've got something really, really special here. Now, taking a closer look at the uh, terrain piece, it's just a flagpole with a 
I guess a collapsed flag, it looks like it's fallen off of the supports. Um, a few bricks for rubble, a little barrel, some sandbags, um, and this wagon wheel that's just kind of trapped in there. It does come out very easily, so be careful that you don't lose that because it can roll off under a table or anything, so just be careful with that. Um, but it's an absolutely great little terrain piece, and it goes well with the uh, Cannon Strike feature in Garno. I really do like this piece, and it's great to put the soldiers posed on it, or have the assassin on the flagpole. Um, it's really, really good for a terrain piece. I, I, I didn't think I'd enjoy it, because it looks so basic, but it works really well as part of the French Revolution theme. So I'm really happy with what Mega did with this piece. So for 10 to 15 pounds, you are getting an absolutely fantastic army builder pack. You could even buy multiples of this if you wanted a massive army of French soldiers. They would work really well in a massive army. I'm tempted to do it myself if I can find more of this set. Um, but it's definitely worth at least picking up one of them. Not only do you get a unique coloured assassin, you get a French officer and three brilliant French troopers. Um, or soldiers. I don't know why I keep calling them troopers. I'm used to Halo, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, the French soldiers. They are really, really great figures. Uh, highly recommend for picking them up. The quality is great. The weapons are great. The terrain piece is great. And this is a battle all in itself. You know, you've got a good guy. You've got four bad guys. And this is going to make any Assassin's Creed fan happy. Even if you don't have any of the other sets. This can start with your collection right away. And... Like I said earlier, it goes well with the Arno Can Strike, um, which just really adds to the whole scene of the French Revolution. So highly recommended. Okay, so that's the end of this review. Um, this has been a very good set to review. I've enjoyed messing around with it. Highly recommend you get it. Um, but that's it now. So we will be reviewing more Halo, Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty sets in the near future. We have some fantastic sets up and coming. We're really excited about them and we can't wait to share the videos with you. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.